So today Penny's having some breakfast. She's here in her Ikea apron bib. I swear by apron bibs because they really do save your little one's clothes. Um, and when you're already doing so much laundry, trying to stay and fight everything is a really big pain. And I don't want to stop my kids from enjoying their food, so I tend to uh, just really let them have at it. Um, Penny's eating out of her Happy Mat, so it's the little bowl version, and it's great because she can't toss it off the table. Um, personally, with baby led feeding, I tend to just put food directly on the table surface. But if you're going out somewhere and it's a dirty table, you might want to bring something, you know, a mat to have down. At home, now at this age with Penny, um, I want to allow her to eat softer things on her own, so the bowl is really great. Um, today, she's having some steel cut oats. I'll show you those with blackstrap molasses and some strawberries. Um, when we first started this, she was doing she was doing raspberries. I love you too. <laughs> it's my preschooler in the background. Um, at the beginning when we started, I was doing raspberries because they're a much um, mushier texture, which is great in the steel cut oats. So I cook a big batch of steel cut oats at the beginning of the week. And then I put them in the fridge in a glass container and just take out a big spoon every day and warm them up. Uh, quickly and add a little bit of blackstrap molasses like you know half a teaspoon a teaspoon depending on how much I'm starting with um, and then I add some kind of fruit high in vitamin C so to help them absorb that iron so today is strawberries um, again Penny is nine months old now almost ten months old so she has no issues with these nice ripe strawberries um, but when she was younger I would do something instead like mashed bananas um, not quite as high in vitamin C though, so another really good one, like I mentioned, is raspberries. Raspberries are really high in vitamin C. <laughs> as you can tell, Penny's really enjoying what she's having. She has a little um, baby spoon there in her hand. It's, she doesn't get much in her mouth with it. She does every once in a while, but really it's just to allow her to practice her spoon skills. Because at, you know, 9, 10 months, in the next few months I want her to be able to spoon feed herself all of these soft foods without having to put her hands in them. She's a moaner when she likes her food. <laughs> yeah, so this Num Num spoon, the cool thing about it is that it's got these holes in it, and these holes allow thick food to kind of get caught in it, and then they can still get it to their mouth. As you can tell, Penny puts it, you know, 50-50, right way, wrong way, but we're not judging. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Now, feeding is a great time to add in signs. If you're interested in doing any sign language with your little ones, um, it's a perfect opportunity to slowly add them. So starting with the um, sign for food, where you bring um, your hand like this, this shape to your mouth. So food, eat, yeah, do you want some food? So we do that a lot. Um, we'll also do the signal for all done. So that's where you shake your hands in the air, like all done all done and we'll do that at the end um, we can also practice our yes which you can also do with a head nod so yes or our no no said with a no um, with a no head shake so those can be some really great ones another one that we often use is more that's bringing your hands together more and that's really handy yeah are you enjoying your food are you getting confused I'm doing all these signs yeah, we find those really great ways for your little one to learn how to communicate over time. What is it? Do you want more? Do you want more of this? She sees another bowl with food and is concerned that she's missing out on something better. Oh, you want more strawberries. Smart kid. There you go. Oh, baby, baby, Yeah, she does. I'm going to be doing a post in the coming days about our some of our favorite breakfasts, and this is definitely one of them for baby led feeding. I love you so much, Lucy. <laughs> this is a great one for baby led feeding because you can start spoon feeding if you want to initially, um, or if you don't have the time one day, you can you can spoon feed it to them. But at the same time, since um, steel cutouts are nice and chunky, uh, you can really allow your baby to pick them up themselves. The other thing is you can grind them. So at the beginning, if you're really nervous about the texture, you know, I always say starting with like a mash texture or the steel cutouts kind of texture is a great place to start. But if you're feeling like you'd like to start with more of a pureed or liquefied version, that's okay too. Um, so you could grind up those oats. Pardon?
Yummy in your tummy. Good. Is that good? <laughs> Penny does have four little teeth right now, but she was doing this, uh, eating this meal before she had really any teeth. So gums can work pretty well on this one. If you notice, we also have a sippy cup of water. So just a simple, you know, BPA free. Um, I don't tend to use sippy cups at meals. I actually often take off this lid, but she had it sitting here as I was getting her food ready. So I didn't want her, I didn't want her to, I didn't want her to knock it over. So what I do now is I just remove the lid. And if you see, this one has a nice smooth edge to it, which means there isn't threading that's gonna get in the way of them enjoying um, their drink. And I'll just take off the sippy cup and then I'll come and help her bring it to her mouth. The new recommendation by Health Canada is that we offer our kids an open cup at mealtime. So, um, you know, I love sippy cups for traveling and for out and about, but it is important that we allow them to have an open cup at meals. And again, like I said before, we're just giving them the water to lubricate their throat <laughs> to help them pass food. There you go. Yeah. Um, because you know that if you get a really dry throat, things get really dry in your mouth, it can be difficult to, um, to finish eating. And so we want to make sure we're not doing it as a way to fill them up. We're just offering it as, there we go. And as you can see at this point, Penny's getting pretty good with it. Good work. <laughs> oh, and then she ditches it in her bowl. Are you all done? Want more of your oatmeal? I just want to eat now. She wants to eat now? She loves to eat, doesn't she? I just want to eat now and not talk. Oh, she wants to eat now and not talk? Okay. She is, isn't she? Okay, well, I think we're almost done here. So we're gonna say bye for today. Penny, can you say bye? Penny, can you say bye? Can you wave bye? She's like, no, I'm focused on eating. <laughs> yes. Good job. See you next time.